Just like you were the streets of Galilee You are doing the same today we thank you. Jesus, we give you praise. Righteous Father, we thank you. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We are here to thank you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you. Welcome to TMG. God bless you richly. I want you to turn the Bible to the book of Romans. Romans 8. Romans 8. Romans 8. You see, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not 
after the flesh, but after the spirit. Mark the Bible writing and the, the message, what it's telling you. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God sent his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. And for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. Verse 4. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. Who walk not, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For they that after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. In other words, if you follow the things of the flesh, the Bible calls it carnality, carna. And when you follow it too much, the end of it is death. But when you follow the things of the spirit, it's life and peace. It didn't say heaven. It said life and peace. You have life. You also have peace. Verse 7. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. For it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. Can I have the next verse? So then, they are in the flesh cannot please God. If you are in the flesh, you cannot please God. There is no way you can please God when you are in the flesh. It's impossible to please God. When you are so mindful of yourself, you always think of yourself, how you want to be rich, how you will get married, how to have children, how to be well to do. You are always concerned about yourself. The Bible calls it carnality. You are selfish. God does not like it at all. So if you are always mindful about yourself, you cannot please God. And the truth is, 80% of you here are mindful about yourself, yourself, yourself. You don't even care about God. Okay, let's say God is far away. You don't even care about any other person. It's only yourself. And that is the problem. That is why you see the church is not working for you. Because you are kinda, You are full of yourself. When you are mindful of only yourself, it's idolatry. You are somebody that is serving juju in the sight of God. Both of you are equal. Because you always think of yourself, 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 yourself. You don't think of any other person. Talk much more of God. It's carnality. You ought to know this. You are different. You are a child of God. You must have God at heart. That is what God wants. That is what he expects of you. To have him at heart. You must think of God. You must remember God. If you want God to fight for you, if you want God to defend you, if you want God to protect you, if you want God to give you life and to give you peace, you must remember God. You must plan for God. As you are planning for yourself, you are also planning for God. The Night of Enthronement 2024 is here. Are you ready to step into your next level of greatness? Then, prayerfully plan and prepare to attend the Night of Enthronement 2024 at TMG Ministries. God is set to elevate you from grass to grace, from zero. Come, Jesus is waiting. 28th through to 29th March 2024. God is using his prophets, Papa J, Senior Prophet Jeremiah Omotofufeng, and Prophet Omogene Oyon, to deliver and elevate you this season. Venue is the TMG Glory Lab, Kilometer 14, Warri Valley Expressway, by Better Glass Company. Get ready for your next level. For our TMG, we believe in results. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. It so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. 
So as a Christian, there is a spirit that must be in you. That is the difference between you and other people. The spirit of God must be in you. Nobody can see the spirit in you, but by your fruits, we will know the spirit is really in you or not. By what you do, what you say, the things you do. That is your fruit. We will know if the spirit of God is in you or not. Somebody could be a man of God. Somebody could be a pastor. Somebody could be an apostle. And the spirit of God is not in him. We have a lot of them. And you have met many before. So if you are a child of God, you are born again, the spirit of God is the first gift that God will give to you. And you ought to grow the spirit or you kill the spirit in you. It's either you are growing the spirit or you destroy the spirit and it will leave you by your fruits. The things you do, what you say, your lifestyle will either increase the spirit or decrease the spirit in you. So when you come to a powerful church like this, the first gift that we will give to you, that in other words, God will give to you is the Holy Spirit. He will give it to you according to this altar. Every church has its own level of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a force. It's like a water. Every church has a quantity of it that they can give to you. And when it's given to you, it will follow you. That is what they call grace. Right? It will follow you. Then it's left for you to increase it, expand it, or kill it and reduce it and dry it up. And if the spirit of the Lord is not in you, it means you are not part of him. You are just coming to church. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. Uh, he's not trying to say you have to be a sinner and the spirit will make you righteous. No. He's trying to tell you that no matter your, what is in your foundation, no matter the kind of sin, the kind of troubles that is in your foundation, where you came from, if Christ, if his spirit is in you, no matter how dead your body is because of sin, the spirit will revitalize you and give you life. That is what he's saying. Can I have the verse 11? The next verse. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwells in you. Quicken your mortal bodies. Your mortal bodies. The Holy Spirit cannot be in you and you are still masturbating. The Holy Spirit cannot be in you and you are still taking drugs. The Holy Spirit cannot be in you and you are still flirting. It doesn't work like that. Because if the Holy Spirit is in you, it will quicken you. There are some things you cannot do. You, you cannot do it. You cannot. St. John said, if the Spirit of God, he that knoweth God, sin not. You cannot sin. Because the Spirit is in you. There are some things you cannot do. You, you cannot. Even if they force you, you cannot. Because the Spirit is in you. Can I have the 34 to 35 verse because time you when you get home I want you to read it take your time to read it okay can, can you go to 10, 33 just come back a bit right the spirit of God is very important why am I teaching you this before I came the Holy Spirit showed me devils are raising altars to block you and they are attacking you it's like the attack is even increasing is it true and I have to teach you why the attack and is working against you. Because the spirit of God is not in you. 
Enough. The spirit of God that is in you, you have killed it and you have reduced it to little. So devils easily come in and attack you. They don't attack me. Oh. I beat them. You know, in the dream, you don't know what you are doing. But me, I did beat them. But I beat, shoot them, break their head, wind their neck, wind their neck, pull it off. But you, you shout, meow, meow. Is the difference. <laughs> the difference between us is what I'm just telling you. The spirit of God is what matters. That's your strength. That's your power. Strength in times of trouble. Now you are going through troubles. The strength is the Holy Spirit. So we say, stop this thing. Stop that thing. Stop this thing. Huh? Uh, Pastor Taiwo was telling someone yesterday, an elderly lady. I said, okay. He's having a second wife, right? So you think we don't know how to enjoy a second wife? We, we don't know how to enjoy a second wife before we choose to get one wife. Or you feel we are fools. Now you smart pass. Or we, or we. No, now you smart pass. We will be fool. We're not sabi enjoy second wife. Now you sabi enjoy second wife. Oh, I don't like second wife. The women are fine for my eye. Are your eye for fine? Why we tell you to stop some of these things is to build your spirit up. So when trouble comes, you can fight. When death comes, you can stop it. When devil brings his evil, you can say stop. Or even if you are not aware and they point it at you, point it at you. They die, die, die. It will not work. When they break, when they tell you, they're going to call you wish. Now wish, now wish. If you wish, pass wish. He go, he go call you wish. You don't know, know. If you get power, pass wish. As they break, you say, Bill, I say that guy wish. Eh? Now rock but wish. You don't pass my own. Ah, you say that man of God. Bill, I say wish pass our own. Let's go and buy more so that we can pass him. Because you are more than them. You are more than a conqueror. Read that scripture. Huh? Read it. But your strength is the Holy Spirit. And it's left for you to kill it or grow it. So when we say stop taking drugs, we want you to grow. Spiritual growth. When we say stop doing this, stop doing that, we want you to grow. Don't go to a gang up, cut, frat, or frat. You go and gang up you know, with gang singing you know, foolishly. You, nothing you did gain. You'll be just fool. Foolishly. They force you to do things on your body. You are destroying your life. Well, I'm talking to you. You will still live here and do the same thing. You are different. You are not like them. They don't have where they are going. Eh? They are sons of Belial. They are going for destruction. You are different. You, you are a choosing. You are a child of the kingdom of light. You should know who you really are. If you don't know who you are, you'll be misbehaving. <laughs> know yourself. Know who you are. Don't let people make you as friends. Choose your friends. Choose them. That somebody is driving a sweet car does not mean it's better than you. That somebody has built houses everywhere and is wearing the latest designers does not mean... This designer, three years time, the designer go beat this one. Huh? You know the CI three years time go be. So you be smart. Don't let somebody lure you into madness because of the pleasure of the now. See tomorrow. Who they so Gary get plan? See tomorrow. Huh? See tomorrow. Don't see today. Oh, I must buy the car today. If I don't buy the car today, you are just a baby. Car today to Kumbo car. Electric cars are coming. You never feel bad now. Huh? The Bible says, Hope make it not ashamed because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. When you have hope, there's no need to be anxious, no need to be ashamed. But that is not the subject for the now. The subject is attack. You are under attack. How do you fight back? 
How do you fight back? You grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Grow in grace. The only way to grow is by building the Holy Spirit. You build him. There are things you stop. I cannot do this. I can't drink this. I can't go this place. I cannot do that. I have to be smart. Let me go here. Let me not do this. Let me try to pray. Let me wake up in the midnight and pray. And when you, will start, when, when you start the prayers, most of your friends will mock you and laugh you to discourage you. At times, your mama will go shush pass. You're surprised now she could even curse you. You are disturbing me. Why must you pray? Now you get problem pass, you'll be disappointed. And now she goes shush pass. But now you are praying, she's against it. Devils will use people to frustrate you, to stop you, from growing spiritually. I think some will even tell you, don't go to that church. If you must go to that church, leave my house. I've seen many like that. It's not the person that is stopping you. It's the devils in you, in your foundation, that are using these people to stop you. So you must grow. Can I have a scripture, please? I don't worry, I'm not going to take your time. The next verse, just go to 33 for me. Who shall lay? Can, can, can you go to 31? Go to 31. Let's go back a bit. 31. Okay. What shall we then say to these things? Uh, can you go to 28? I just want them to understand. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his word. Can we read it again? One, two, go. And we know. Again. For the last time, one, two, go. You see it now. All things work together for. So at times when he's going wrong, remember this Romans 8 28. It is working for my. No matter how it goes, it must work for my good. It's a mindset you must have as a believer. No matter what comes your way, it must work for your good. At times, what we come will not look good at all. Imagine police just arrest you. That is not a good one at all. And they want to throw you inside. Say, it's not a good one at all. But you should remember the scripture and remind the devils and yourself that this very thing must work for my, for my good. Somebody accuses you wrongly. Wrongly. You must know these things. That it must work for my what? It must work together for my good. That is the portion of the child of God. Everything works together for our good. It's a grace God has given to us. It must work. Let me read the scripture. Can I have the 29th verse now? 29. And we know that all from whom he did for known, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Can I have the 30? Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. Verse 30, please. Can I have it? And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, then him also. Just leave this place. It's good you understand. It's a bit deep. I have told you that God has called you. That is why you are here now. If not, you're supposed to be somewhere else. So your coming to church is not a coincidence. It's not a mistake. God has called you. God has chosen you. Right? And that is exactly what he's saying now. Just that that is not my topic for today. My topic is you more than conquerors. You are more than conquerors. You are more than conquerors. 
you are more than conquerors. Can I have the scripture? Verse 30. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, then he also called. Predestinate. It means you are on a mission. He has sent you. He has programmed your life. This is how your life will go. So you did not just come from nowhere. You are on a mission. Don't forget that. Don't forget it. Then he also called and whom he called, then he also justified. There are times you might do wrong. God will also justify you because you are on a mission and he will still project you. And whom he justified, then he also glorified. Right? No matter what, no matter the attack, no matter the oppression of life, your glory must shine. Right? Because you are on a mission. You are not an ordinary person. Right? It must work for your good. It's a must. Can I have the next verse? We have a lot to do. Right? Moreover, whom can I have the next verse? 31. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be? If God be for us, who can be? You see why it must work for your good? There are a lot of you that came in the night to press your neck. A lot of you in the night, they lock you up somewhere. You had terrible dreams. You woke up, you were shaking. If God be for you, who can be? Some of all those dreams you see, they are not mistakes. There are people in your family, human beings, that have seen your star, that blessings are coming. And they have gone to prepare to stop it. Or stop you. Stop you means killing you. If wishes could not stop the blessing, the next thing they plan to do is to stop you. Stopping you means to kill you. These are real. It's not figment of imaginations. It's real. Witchcraft is real. They have already signed that this family, we must be poor. This family, nobody can enjoy. We must suffer. We don't already sign a mm, mm, mm. They have already signed it. Now, you small boy, you just came out from nowhere. You want to shine. You want to build houses in the compound. We are pass. You. We are pass. The one way they put the, the, the gist with you, say, don't worry, you. You they try you. We like you, eh? Now, you go first, someone, your matter go kovun. And now you like pass. That is the beauty of life. That is the irony of life. That is how life is. So at times you see that you are under attack in the dream. They come to oppress you. They come to, to... It's not because you have done something wrong. The wrong you have done is your greatness. It's your glory. It's your star. It's your shining. That is the wrong you have done. Most family, they don't... 95% of our background does not want anything good. They just want you to remain where you are like this. They like you like this. And you not like yourself like this. Have I mean, you like yourself like this? Hence, the attack that you see, that they attack you. Right? Can I have the next verse? Sorry, but I'm going to rush it. What shall we? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things. Can I have the next one? Right? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? You are God's elect. Huh? They even said you are the apple of God's eyes to tell you how important God is holding you. But how are you seeing yourself? Right? And what have you done with the spirit he has given to you? It is God that justifies the next verse. Right? Who is he that condemneth? Who can condemn you? Who can accuse you? It is Christ that died, yea, rather that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God? Who is also making intercession for us? Can I have the next one, please? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulations or distress or persecution? Of famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. You know, when they wrote this Bible, there were no guns. 
So the biggest weapon was a sword. What can separate you from the love of Christ? Is it hardship? Is it war? Is it devils? What can separate us? What? Can I have the next verse? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. The next one. The next verse. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that again in all these things again for the last time nay in all these things we are more than conquerors so if Christ his spirit is in you you are more than what? Tell somebody I'm more than conquerors. Tell the other one I'm more than conquerors. Tell the other one I'm more than conquerors. I just told you that most times it's your fault. It has not been working. It's your fault. God gave you his spirit. What have you been doing with the spirit? What have you done with it? Huh? He gave you a spirit, the Holy Spirit he has given to you. What are you doing with it? Mark you, it's not spirit. Holy, holy. In other words, if you are not holy, the spirit will do what? Huh? Not be so. Holy. So if you are not holy, the spirit will do what? We go. You cannot have the spirit of God in you and you are masturbating. It doesn't work like that. You cannot have the spirit of God in you and you are telling lies like the devil. It doesn't work like that. You cannot have the spirit of God in you and you are wicked. You are full of unforgiveness. That my lady, she must die. From that in May, she go die. You are a wish. You can have the spirit of God in you and you are planning evil. That my neighbor, every morning go they want me car. Vroom, vroom, vroom. The angel go knock. That is witchcraft. You can't have the spirit of God in you and you are like that. It doesn't work. And the worst thing you see people in the church that are holding the big position and they, 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 the spirit of God is not in them. Because they are full of hatred, wickedness, evil, oppression. They want to see that your children could not go to school so they can laugh you. That is the heart of the devil. That is not God. You bought a new car, they are angry with you. Why will he buy a car? Not only day, not as if he buy your motor join. Mind your business, live your life. Be happy for other people's successes so that you can also be successful. <laughs> huh? Huh? You never forget Bele. When that person get Bele, you divest. Now you get your Bele join in her own. What be how she get? Now to rush bond. It is working together for your good. Why don't you see it like that? Must you be angry? It's working for your good. Huh? Is it not better you, you are just like this for the now? What if you're born after two years, the child die? You don't think go that side. Or you buy motor, you go get accident, die. You don't think go that side. Somebody buy motor, you never feel buy, you the vest. As if you buy your own journey. It's witchcraft. The spirit of God is in you. Use it. Grow it. Don't be anxious. Don't be in a hurry. I'm not saying you should be lazy and sit down and leave it that is working together for my good. Let me be poor. No. That's not what I'm saying. But make sure you grow the spirit that God has given you. Grow it. When you grow it, devils cannot attack you. Imagine you take drugs, take drugs, take cocaine, fool your head. You can't go sleep. It means any demon can rubbish you. True or false? Because you are not normal. You are mad. So when we say stop it, we, we know why we are saying it. Not be used to be enjoy the drug pass. Even me, I like to enjoy it too. But I don't want Chris. Because I Chris, you the Chris. So. What I 
I'm saying in a nutshell is for you to do what? Change. Shake yourself and change. Change. Now yourself, you they do. Sister, now you made me come here or you? I came here because of you. Because your marriage has passed like three years ago. Passed. As I did there, I had a verse. That's why I came here and I put my shirt to cut a verse for you. I did a verse for you. Your marriage don't pass. You are overdue like three, four years ago. Overdue. Kurelie, kurelie. Huh? Change. Just change. Don't you change. You are not a Christian. There's a difference between a Christian and a church goer. Today's Christians are church goer. You see them beside church now they are near the man of God pass. Allah line and church goer, not be Christian. You don't know God. If you do some kind of things, you'll shock. You say, huh? I just say no God. Woo. If I am, you go shop all here. It's the problem we have. Change. You are not in Christ. You are different. So that your blessings can also come. Are you here? Jesus, I thank you. I don't worry, I'm going to pray for all of you. That demon that is fighting you today will beat them. Better beat. Huh? Don't worry yourself. Huh? Thank you. God bless you. Devils cannot stop you. They are too small. They cannot stop your marriage. They cannot stop your cars. They cannot stop your houses. They cannot stop you. You must travel all over the world. Huh? He said he has prepared the table before you in the presence of all your enemies. He has prepared the table. The table of your marriage is prepared. The table of your money, your, your wealth is prepared. The table of your children is prepared. You must enjoy your life. Huh? They cannot stop you. God bless you, my pastors. You must suffer money. You must suffer money. You must suffer money. Huh? You must suffer money. Lide Hebosh Kalandes. Ragebosh. Lida Brands and the Halidos. Say, my time has come. No power can stop me. This is my time. My time to celebrate has come. My year of celebration has come. I must celebrate. I must be celebrated. I must celebrate. I must be celebrated. Okay, now whatever devils have planted in you or the place on you that you cannot celebrate now. Whatever devils have planted in you or program on you that you cannot celebrate now. Very good. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I enter it all, all. Whatever they have planted. Yes. It's going out now. It's going out. Whatever they have planted. Huh? It's going out. Oh. They must go. Huh? Then, ah. Come on, hold this mic for me. They must go. Hold the mic. Yes. Huh? 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 They must go now. Who are you to say a word? That it will come to pass. When my Jesus has not said so. Huh? Huh? They must go. Whatever they have planted. Huh? They must go. Whatever they have planted to delay you. They must go. Oh, 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 oh. They must go. Oh, they must go. Get out! Huh? Ah! Ah! And that demon that has been talking to you, misleading and misdirecting you, they must go. You are not the spirit of God. Pack your load. Get up. You must go. Yes. Huh? Huh? You must go. You must go. Who be you? Who are you? Answer me. Who are you? 
Who are you? Oh. Who is holding the marriage? 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 Who they hold 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 the marriage? Who be the person? Who be the person? Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Die, all of you. Die, the name of Jesus. Die, come out. You must go, all of you. Who is stopping the marriage? Answer me. Who stopped the marriage? Who? Who stopped the marriage? Huh? Hey, hey, you cannot, man. You're not fit. Where you take that kind of power? You don't have such power, man. Huh? Uh, ooh, who, told who told you? 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 Now you demon that is still left, I pull your heart. 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 Huh? Yes, you, you. You, you. Huh? Now come out of our body. Come out. Out of our body. Out of this temple. Come out. Now I set the temple on fire from her legs. Can I see it? Yes, fire. Let it come up. Let it come up to her waist. Everywhere fire. To her belly. Fire, fire, fire. Eh? To her chest. Fire, 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 fire. To her head. Fire, 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 fire. Everywhere fire. Now let it melt. 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 Die. Melt. To ashes. To ashes. To ashes, to ashes, to ashes in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus' name. Amen. I have set her free. She is free forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Do not sit down. Say, Lord Jesus, I give you praise. Thank you for choosing me in this lifetime to be a shining light. Thank you for choosing me in this lifetime to be your own, to walk in light, in greatness, to be so victorious over all devils. Thank you for this service and this upliftment that you have given me. Over my enemies. I appreciate you in Jesus' name. Now I secure you. The roads are safe for you. The airways are safe for you. The waterways are safe. No weapon fashion against you shall prosper. Anywhere they will call your name for evil, they will see me and my Jesus with fire. I said, anywhere they will call your name for evil, they will see me and Jesus with fire. So shall it be in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. The Night of Enthronement 2024 is here. Are you ready to step into your next level of greatness? Then prayerfully plan and prepare to attend the Night of Enthronement 2024 at TMG Ministries. God is set to elevate you from grass to grace, from zero. Come. Jesus is waiting. 28th through to 29th March 2024. God is using his prophets, Papa J, Senior Prophet Jeremiah Omotofufeng, and Prophet Omogene Oyon to deliver and elevate you this season. Venue is the TMG Glory Lab, Kilometer 14, Warri Valley Expressway by Better Glass Company. Get ready for your next level. For our TMG, we believe in results.